While working in AutoCAD, there are many things that you need to be aware of. The status bar is one of them. It's a sort of billboard that displays information. It's located here at the bottom of your screen, and it stretches all the way across, or most of it anyway. Now starting on the left side here, you'll see different tabs for your model space and paper space for your current file that you have open. We'll talk about model space and paper space in another video. But that's what these tabs are. You can also switch between model space and paper space by clicking on this button here. You can see there are a lot of different buttons. Most of them are grayed out, but the ones that are active are colored blue. This is the one here that displays the grid. Now you can press the F7 key to toggle that off and on, or you can click here on your status bar. This is the toggle to snap to grid. Now you can turn it on or off or you can press the F9 key. Just like here you can press F7, here you can press F9. Now this little arrow here gives you some more settings. You can turn your grid snap on or off. You can turn on polar snap, whichever one that you want to use. You can also click it here and get to your snap settings. Next you can see here that this is the restrict cursor orthogonally, or your ortho mode, which is F8. Now clicking it will toggle it off or on. Remember if it's blue, it's on. If it's gray, it's off. This is your polar tracking. You can turn that off or on. And you can get to more settings here. Turn on different angles. Or click here for the track settings to get to a more fine tuning type of settings that you might want to use. This is for your ISO plane. You can turn those off or on. And here you can switch ISO plane top bottom or wherever it is that you want to go to. This is great for drawing 3D isometric drawings. They're still in the two dimensions, but they'll help you draw it accordingly. I'm going to toggle that back off. Next down here we have the object snap tracking. This is your F11 button. That will help you to automatically track to things that you can't necessarily follow. Turn off my ortho mode. Now this is going to let me track past this line through it, even though the line isn't there. You can also track to things like other midpoints, etc. We'll talk more about it in detail later on. Now this is your O snap tracking. Press F3 to turn that off and on, or you can click down here. And this will get to your different settings. Which one of these running O snaps do you want to have turned off or turned on? And of course, at the bottom again, as you can see a theme here, this gets you to your detailed settings. This button here is your selection cycling. You can turn that off and on. This is for your dynamic UCS to turn it off or on. And this is for your annotation scaled objects. Again, all these we'll talk about more detail much later on. This is your workspace switching. This turns your annotation monitor off or on. Here we have hardware acceleration. So if your computer is running a little bit slow, or at least it seems like it, you may want to click here to turn that off or on. You can isolate objects by turning this off and on here. This is your clean screen setting for your control zero to turn that off or on. But here's something you really want to pay attention to, and that's your customization button. If you click that, this will customize everything that you may or may not want to see. So I can turn my clean screen option off or on if I want. You can turn on drawing units. And you can see as I toggle them off or on, it's in real time. So now I can get to these settings and I can change them accordingly. However you set this up, feel free to do so however you would want. But then once you have something turned on or turned off the way you want it, go right ahead and save it into your current workspace if you have a custom one. That's a great thing to do. You click all the way up at the top, you can turn your coordinates off or on, which is very useful because it can tell you exactly where you're at. Once you're finished though, then you're finished. Now if you right click on any of these items, it will get you to some custom settings. You just click that option then and get right to it. You can get to specific absolute relative coordinates, etc. So that's your status bar. If you want to know if your grid is off or on, your O snaps are on, your ortho mode is on, etc. You can find that here. Remember, the light blue means it's on, the gray means it's turned off.